I'm gonna go grab my phone real quick in case you guys start popping on. I see two of you are on. I'm gonna grab my phone real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, hello. I'm just gonna let everybody on my Instagram know that I'm live. So one second, please. Let's see, let me take a picture of these purses down here. Ooh, that was cute. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Let's see here, what do I wanna do? While you guys are piling on, I'm just, Getting a picture going here for Instagram. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to put on, actually. Not that one. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's back up here. And do, let's see. I've got so many bags down here, you guys. Let's just do this one right here. This is cute. This one's cute. Oh, yeah, I've got that one too. We gotta definitely sell this one today. And this one too. Let me take the tag off. You guys, I've got some really good bags today. I'm really excited to show you. Okay, just a quick whatever photo. Nothing fantastic. Good morning, everybody. Okay. Monday, a little slow for me, guys. Hold on a second. And there's Storm. Stormy wants in, too. Okay. All right, my little Stormy. Come on in, baby. Come on in, my friend. Hello. Come on. Welcome, welcome to the purse sale. Hi, boy. Oh, and my picture came in upside down, you guys. Hi guys, happy Monday. Did everybody have a wonderful weekend this weekend? I'm hoping. Sorry, this is taking a second. I've got some things I'm trying to work on here and I should have done it before the video started. So chat amongst yourselves. Enjoy the enjoy the beautiful chat between yourselves. That would be great, real quick. <laughs> okay, let's get this one, that one. Eh. Okay, you guys, so welcome to today's purse sale. My name is Kim. I resell all handbags and wallets, and they're usually a designer brand. They go from very minimal brand names to very high-end brand names, just depending on the day and the luck at the thrift store. All my items are used, pre-owned. Um, some are brand new, even though I purchased them uh, pre-owned. They'll still have the tags attached. So, uh... Um, if, okay, hold on, <laughs> working here, baby, um, okay, so anyways, all of my items are, um, going to be pre-owned, there's going to be issues with them, maybe, maybe not, there may be a little ding, a little bling, a little blemish, um, but I try to go ahead and let all of you guys know in when I'm showing each of the purses. So before you make that purchase, make 100% sure that this is the bag that you want because all sales are final. I do not accept any returns, exchanges, anything like that. Once you make the purchase, it's yours. Everything will be listed underneath this video after the live is over and all instructions on how to pay will be there. So. Do I have woo, do I have any questions before I start my lovelies? Any questions? Okay, so you know what? First I'm gonna start from behind me and I'm gonna work my way to the front. This is super pretty. It's not Hobo International, but I thought it was when I first got it. 
It's a mustard yellow, large, genuine leather, new with tags, Kenneth Cole reaction. Really, really large um, hobo, and it's got the same sort of leather as Hobo International, that really light, soft leather with a sheen to it. I'm blurry. Maybe try going out and checking back in. Sometimes that will help. Plus, there's a rainstorm out right now, so um, let's see. Let's just wait a minute and see what happens. I wonder if I turn on a light, if that would help. No, that is definitely not going to help. Okay, I'm still blurry. I'm just going to wait it out a minute. I may cancel this live if I'm not, if I'm still blurry. I may just cancel and do another day. Yes, Kendra, that's right. That's right. I've heard about doing that. I've never done it, but I've heard. So do what Kendra said, you guys. Go on the little three dots in the right-hand corner of your screen. Click on that and change your uh, quality to 480. Okay. Not blurry forever. Um, could be the lens. Let me see. It could be the lens. Hold on. I will get a little tissue to clean the lens with. Because I'm seeing myself and I'm not blurry. So I don't think it's the lens, but hey, you never know. Let's give it a shot and see. Hold on, I'm going to clean the lens real quick. How's that? Okay, yeah, Jenny, if I'm blurry, I'm going to do it another day. Because I'm not going to make you guys look at a bunch of blurry bags. Okay, everything's good now, then let's go ahead and finish. And if you are blurry, then just uh, do that little three dot thing in the corner and see if it works. Okay, so here is the bag. This is by, like I was saying, Kenneth Cole Reaction, and it's a very large hobo in a really cute, pretty golden color with large pockets on each side. The bottom is so cool because it says Kenneth Cole and it's embossed on the bottom. You guys see that? Isn't that cool? This bag is beautiful with a zipper top closure. And the inside is brand spanking new, obviously, because it has the tags attached. And it is, here's the pockets on the inside. So you have your zipper pocket, and on front of the zipper pocket is a large slip pocket. And then, of course, your two large side pockets. And it's a really, really pretty mustard yellow that can take you to spring, summer, fall. Um, it's just, a, it's a really, really pretty bag. Really pretty bag. Okay, I'm going to do this one next. This is genuine leather. <coughs> Sip of coffee here. <coughs> Still early. We went out for sushi last night, got home late with all of our friends. It was a great time, so I'm kind of a little bit tired this morning. Okay, so this one is by, let me show you it first. This gorgeous leather handbag by Maddie Claire. So this is a really pretty leather croc embossed front. It has silver hardware. And there's the sides in the back. You can put your cell phone in here. Also a nice zipper pocket. A little bit of wear on the edges right here. Right there, there's a little bit of wear as well. Um, the bottom looks amazing. A nice camel leather. Here it is on. And then this opens up. And this is what the inside looks like. The inside has actually lots of organization. It has pin holders, a zipper pocket, slip pockets, and it's 
100% clean. Can you guys see the pin pockets in there, little pin slots in there? Okay, so this little beauty is by Maddie Claire, and it's, it's actually really light. Love the buckle closure detail on the front, magnetic snap closure, like so. Okay. Um, if you know this brand, if you know this brand, let me know. Who knows the brand Rioni? Rioni. Look what I found, you guys. Rioni is extremely expensive. And I was lucky enough to find this for you guys. It's an adorable tote. So it's got the front pocket. You can put whatever you want, your cell phone, whatever. Magnetic snap closure. This really cool zipper pocket that goes to about right, right, about right here is where the zipper pocket goes. So you have this whole space right here. And then the back has a zipper pocket. It's got the little Rioni R's on embossed on the back of the leather straps. It's not stuffed, but I'll show you it anyways, what it looks like on. This is super um, close to the Louis Vuitton I think it's called Batignol or Batagnol, Batagnol, um, yeah, something like that. I think this is what it was kind of looked after. It's kind of the same bag. Um, so it's got the zip top closure and the inside has lots and lots of pockets. Okay, so this is by Rioni. There's a, a little elastic pocket here. I'm going to have to add a little zipper pull to this, which is not even a big deal. It still works just fine. It just is, it needs the little pull right here. But um, if you guys Google these, you'll see they're very, very expensive bags. So yeah, you can definitely stay organized for sure in this adorable little Rioni tote. At the bottom. Okie dokie. Let's do, I know somebody had an interest in several of these, so I'm going to try to show the ones that people were asking about on my Instagram. This one is a super pretty, um, this is actually a B. Mikowski. Can you guys see the plum purple? Hopefully you're able to see the color well. This is a plum purple B. Mikowski crossbody, and it's got a cell phone pocket on the back. It's got this great little twist lock with the brass heart, um, antique brass hardware pocket on the front. You put all your goodies in there. Cheetah interior, leopard interior. It's got a nice wide depth to it to put lots of goodies in. And you just unzip the top and look at the zipper pull on this. It's awesome. So you just zip that open. And it has your zipper pocket, inner zipper pocket. And this is a B. Mikowski. Okay, and I'll show you it on as well. Really pretty plum colored leather. And it's a um, pebbled leather, a thick pebbled leather. On the bottom. Adjustable crossbody strap. This is long on me, but it adjusts a lot. There's all sorts of adjustments up here. So you can make it super long, super short, whatever you like. Okay, and this is my Plum B. Mikowski. Let's see, is there any questions coming through that I need to answer? Okay, let's do... This one was definitely asked a lot about. 
And if you're asking, if you're wondering why you're here, where's that one black and white bag? You guys were like, what is that one black and white bag that's a puffer? It was a coach and it has sold. So this is a navy blue pebbled leather B. Mikowski also. Okay. And this little zipper detail is super cute on the sides just for looks. Pocket for your cell phone. All the Mikowskis come with a little cell phone pocket on the back. You have two side pockets for your snacks. Another one here. Large oversized zipper pulls that say B. Mikowski on them. It's got the nickel hardware, actually nickel and silver. And the top is a magnetic snap closure. Okay, the inside has a center zip compartment right here. And then your main compartment here and your main compartment on this side. And then also has the Murkowski pocket label. And this is a hook for your keys. Very lightweight, slouchy, really super cute. Okay, I've got this Dooney and Burke. And this is in the color Elephant. And it's a soft leather um, tote. Authentic Dooney and Burke. Nice large tote. Very, very soft, actually. And lightweight. And it's a very, it's almost a smooth leather. Let me show you up close. There's the bottom for you. The Dunium Burke emblem. It's got a magnetic snap closure. The interior is pink. It's got a cell phone compartment here. It has your center zip compartment. It has the zipper pocket. Here's the Doomy label. And then let me find a little tag that's in here as well. Here it is. Tag of authenticity. Your little Doomy and Burke tag with the number on the back. Okay, so this is. Elephant gray, Dooney and Burke tote. Simple and adorable. Kind of like all of us girls, right? We're all just simple and adorable girls. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've only done six bags so far. All righty, let's do this. I uh, got so many cute ones here. Hmm. Oh, I have another one of these. This is the Alfani. I just sold one in black leather. And this one is a burgundy leather. So if you missed out and you want a rare one that's much more hard to find, this one would be it. I found several of these in black, but I've never found a burgundy one before. And it's a gorgeous pebbled leather. Baguette style, silver hardware, large O-rings. And it's in excellent condition. So it's got the little um, silver hoop. You open it like so. This is suede right here. And it's got, it's really cool because it's got this little pocket you can put coin in if you don't want to use a wallet or whatever. It's like a little coin pocket. It's so neat. Then you have an additional slip pocket here. And then this side has a zipper pocket. And the plastic is still actually on the Alfani label. And then this is a zipper also. And it's actually quite roomy because of the deck. So it's a, it's a really, really nice size baguette. And the leather on it is beautiful. Okay, so this is my burgundy Alfani. 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to do this little guess down here because this one, you guys, the reason, <laughs> the main reason I got this was, first of all, I love the color and the style, but I love the sound it makes. <laughs> Super adorable little um, crossbody handbag top handle, silver hardware. I just love this little chain guess emblem on it. And I love this type of material. I just really do. It's got the crossbody strap that you can also adjust. And how cute is this purse? I love it. I love the way it sits, the way it looks. Um, it's got the light tan leather handles on it. And if you want, you can take the strap off and just use it as like a little crook of your arm style bag. No, I love the sounds of leathers and chains. It's weird. Kind of weird, right? So this is Guess. My husband. Hi, honey. I'm doing a live right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, okay. You, okay, then. That would be fine, babe. How's your tummy? Yeah. 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 Okay, well, you need to come home. Okay, baby. Be careful in the rain. What time are you thinking? Okay, that'd be good, babe. All right, I love you. Okay. Okay, so anyways, it's super cute. It's got silver hardware. It's like the white with the tan colored little G's on it. Snap top closure. And then this is the interior. It's just plain, easy to see all your things in it. Great size. And there you have that. Okay. And there you have that. All right. Next. He'll be okay. Thanks for asking. Okay, next we have this super pretty fossil. Look at this, you guys. Super cute fossil. This is like a super dark burgundy plum, if that makes any sense. I don't know if the light is showing its true color or not, but it's, it's awesome, it's fossil, it's got the key with it, it's gorgeous, and it's this certain style, this bag is very, very hard to find. Because usually, most of the fossils that I thrift are cross bodies. So this is a tote. Love this guy here. And then there's a pocket and a pocket. Then you have this magnetic snap pocket. Fossils are the best. Fossil, um, actually all leather bags. Most, I'd say 99% of leather bags are awesome. Look at the zipper, how soft it is. My stuffing back in there. It's just super soft. And then, yeah, it's got the nickel hardware on it. Oh, I love this purse. The interior is extremely clean with two slip pockets and a zipper pocket. And here's your fossil label. Okay, so we're going to call this the burgundy fossil, plum fossil. Either way, it's such a gorgeous color. Um, let's see what else do I want to do here. Let's do a Brighton. Got this adorable Brighton studded, either crook of your arm purse or shoulder bag or crossbody. Take your pick. And it's got the little heart charm on it, which is kind of twisted around here for some other reason. Anyways, it's got the little heart charm on it. All silver studded detail. With the pretty little silver emblem at the top. 
and it's this style here. And then here's the inside. There's the little Brighton logo <coughs> right here. Zipper pocket, slip pockets. And then of course, I love these extra additional pockets on there. They're so cool. I really like this bag a lot too. And then the bottom has feet. And it is a very small pebble leather. And super soft. Okay, how many bags have I done, you guys? A lot. Let's do this little one because I haven't really gotten any crossbodies in. So spring is sprung. It's almost here. It actually is here, you guys. I have a very pretty mint green. These are very popular for me. A mint green sack crossbody in a pebbled leather. <coughs> Tickle in my throat, you guys. <coughs> this this um particular bag sells very well. It's got a nice front pocket. Okay, it's got a slip pocket. Then the zipper pocket. And it has two slips and a zipper on the inside. Nice and clean. So this is a sack and it's uh, definitely like a sea foamy mint color. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> oh, let's do this one. This one I thrifted yesterday. Well, look what I got you guys from my vintage Juicy Couture Girls. Look at this adorable wristlet by Juicy Couture. It's black leather with a little chain wristlet strap. <coughs> Dang it. <coughs> it's got the J on the back. This doesn't even look like it's ever been used. Yeah, it's definitely a mint. It's just the lighting today. It's definitely a mint green for sure. And this is black, by the way, in case you're unable to tell on this one as well. So it snaps and the inside has credit card slots, a coin compartment, and then additional little pocket for whatever you like. And then <clears throat> it's actually, it's kind of like um, accordion style so you can fit lots of stuff in it. It opens up nice and wide, let's just show you. <clears throat> this is irritating, I'm getting irritated now because of my itch in my throat. <coughs> <clears throat> too much talking this early in the morning <laughs> all right you guys so this is the vintage juicy couture wristlet wallet hi Dahlia and let's do this one this is a Kindle and Kylie crossbody brand new never used it looks like it's got this great little front pouch. Now, this is what I would do, actually. I would put all my COVID crap in here, like my masks and sanitizers and breath mints, whatever, in here. And then I would use the purse part as, you know, for all of my purse stuff in here. It's like excellent brand new condition. Kindle and Kylie is, is up there price-wise. It's not cheap. Here's the inside. This is a faux leather here, and this is a, um, <clears throat> a nylon, silver hardware. You can detach this and take it off if you like. You don't have to keep that on there if you don't want to. And then the strap has Kindle and Kylie across the entire thing, and it is adjustable. It looks so much like the reissue, the Prada reissue to me. Okay, so here's the strap. And then this is it on. Love this bag. And if you like this, like I said, it is in brand spanking new condition. <clears throat> Zipper pulls in excellent condition. The whole thing, I don't ever think it's been used at all. 
So I'm going to end this video today, you guys. I've got much, much, much to do today. So let's get these uh, bags sold and out to you today, if very, if possible. Do I have any questions? <clears throat> oh, my Betsy Johnson. Golly. Hold on. Let me go through my wallet. You know what, girl? My apologies. She's looking for a Betsy wallet. So let's put my box of tricks over here. Oh, I have to put that up. I have too many wallets to lift up. Okay, so we're just going to search through here for Betsy Johnson. There's Coach, Gate Spades. I don't think I do. If I do, I don't remember. Oh, I totally forgot I have a man's coach wallet in here. Oh, that's a cute little juicy red. <laughs> oh my gosh. I gotta do a wallet sale. I don't think I have any Betsy's in here. My girl Jody. I just don't think I do. Unless unless you like a little Betsy wristlet. I've got this, a Betsy Johnson wristlet. Um, it's not a wallet. Yeah. No Betsy Johnson wallets or bags. I'm sold out of all of the above right now. <clears throat> the first bag I showed Jenny is a really big bag. This one is very big. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Hope you found something you like. Stay humble. Stay kind. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye, guys. <clears throat>